Uh, my name is Ron Bates. Uh, I'm the senior manager at Graphical Applications. Um, I started in 97. I think it was March, March or April of 97. I think when I started, there were less than 100 people here, and um, we're a lot bigger, so in numbers we've grown. Um, I think we're about to move to our second location since I've joined, so we've moved locations, but honestly, I think things have stayed quite a bit the same. Um, you know, there's a sort of entrepreneurial, sort of startup type mentality that people have always had here. And I think that that sort of startup drive that people have is something you can't measure, and it makes its way into the product in a way that, that really benefits everyone. I think every day there's just challenges that I, I find gratifying to try to solve and overcome. Whether that's you know a user's got some issue and I'm trying to help directly help them, or we're trying to figure out you know how we're going to code something so that it works the best way, um, just those those challenges on a day-to-day -day basis are fun and exciting, and uh, I think that just keeps you you know enjoying your job. One thing that's kind of funny is that before we moved into the building we're at now, that we're about to move out of. Um, we were hitting golf balls from across the street at the building once. <laughs> so we used to work really late shifts, and, like through the night and come off and on. And, and I wasn't here, it wasn't me, but I did hear when I came in uh, early in the morning that the guys who were here overnight, you know, they were waiting for you know, a build to finish to test or something and uh, they got their golf clubs out and were hitting balls over here. The, band, the building was abandoned at the time, so I think it was pretty safe, but I thought that was pretty funny when I heard about that. I spotted a, a design of a snowmobile uh, that I thought looked like it had been built. Like we, you, it's like every CAD software has its own little footprint, and I had seen the design, just a picture of it, and I said that looks like it was SolidWorks. And I got in touch with the uh, the guy who you know listed his contact when I saw it, and ultimately we he did use SolidWorks. We got the model, we used it in demos for years, and I still use it today. And it was just really cool to me because I'm an avid snowmobiler myself, um, and to see the whole snowmobile and, and it was just, it was really neat. I think um, actually being part of uh, Team team Disso, um, which uh, started as Team Solvers years ago, I, I got involved with in that fairly early. Um, I think in the second or third year we started the team. Um, it's actually meant a lot to me. Um, I've had quite a few near and dear people to me, um, you know, who've, uh, you know, not made it because of cancer, and uh, actually a friend here at work, a colleague um, over the years who's uh, who lost a battle to cancer. So being part of that um, has actually been very, very rewarding, and um, I'm proud to see us do it as a team and, and raise the kind of money we have for, for Dana-Farber and the, the Jimmy Fund. I'm starting to become not too different from a lot of other people who um, started here 10, 12, 15 years ago, and are still here. And when I started, I started right out of college, really. So um, I've basically grown up here. Um, you know, so it's uh, as I've grown as a person. It's a lot of it's because of, of you know what I've done here in my professional career. So to be in the same place I was, you know, same place I started out of college, is actually pretty, pretty tremendous. And uh, so that's sort of. I guess you could say that sort of growing up that I did. I did it professionally and, you know, personally all while I've been here.